An end-user certificate must accompany the import of controlled items into Nigeria. The Nigerian Customs Service Federal Operations Unit Zone A sounded the warning following the interception of drums containing explosives, making devices, military camouflage, and thousands of compressed cannabis sativa. TVC News correspondent Ifunaya Eze reports. This is part of the byproduct of making bombs. According to the acting controller, Federal Operations Unit Zone A, Hussein Ejibuno, importing explosives making chemicals such as cabard into the country without proper documentation carries dangerous consequences. He says that prior to clearance of such items, an end user certificate must be provided. The owner said he has EUC for it. So we are waiting for the presentation of that EUC. Failure to produce the EUC within the time frame, then we have no any other choice to do what the law says, and we we'll have to prosecute the person. As he turns over thousands of compressed cannabis sativa to operatives of the National Drug Law Enforcement Agency, he worries about continued economic sabotage. We got this at various flashpoints from Ugiri, from Seme, and some from Idiroko about 2,135 wraps, totaling or weighing 1,163 kilograms of cannabis sativa. As the election is fast approaching, we need to up our game, and that is what we are doing, to ensure that we mop up all this out of circulation. We don't just receive them and keep them. After the prosecution, the moment we get... Uh, the final uh, judgments, we keep them and we seek for uh, legal advice to permit us to destroy all these things. We don't just keep them like that. Also confiscated were sacks of military camouflage, as well as nine trailer loads of small good foreign parboiled rice, used tires and clothes, among others, valued at 517.9 million naira. According to him, 11 people were arrested as a result of the seizures. Additionally, 86.1 million naira was recovered through demand notices as revenue into the Federation account. Ifunanya Eze, TVC News, Lagos.